Guitar Business Radio is the podcast for the business of guitar, where you'll always get no reviews, no demos, and no idle chatter. From players to CEOs and in between, if you have a professional or business connection to the world of guitar, this show is your window to insight and information you won't get anywhere else. I'm Jeffrey D. Brown, and I approve this message. So let's get to it. From Guitar Business Media, welcome to the 56th episode of GBR. And I can guarantee this will be like no other podcast you've ever heard. And I'm going to let that sink in for just a second or two. Okay, that's a pretty dramatic statement, I know. I also know that I will have absolutely no trouble achieving that goal. This will be like no other podcast you've heard before. The only exception to that is if, in fact, you've heard this particular podcast before, then, of course, that statement no longer applies. So we have a very special show for you today. It's called The Intermission. Not to be confused with intromission or intromission, which is something we can't talk about on this show, but this is the official intermission show for Guitar Business Radio. But what the heck does that mean? Well, it's simple, and you should know how I feel about that. It's just what it sounds like. It's the intermission, you know, like at movies or plays or other kinds of performances where they take a break in the middle so folks can go to the snack bar or restrooms, grab a cocktail, mingle with the crowd and exchange recipes, you know, that sort of thing. Well, that's kind of what this show is. It's our version of an intermission. We're taking a break this week to try to catch up on a whole bunch of things that are going on simultaneously. What might those things be, you ask? Okay, for starters... We're producing two new episodes of GBR Focus this week. We've just rolled out the first phase of Guitar Business Media's 2020 strategy. I've got to fix the popcorn machine just because, well, not having that operating at full capacity is depressing our cash flow, and the list goes on and on. But, you know, it's all good stuff, and I'm going to be talking about some of it during the intermission coming up shortly. So you may want to pause the show at this point and grab some snacks. Go to the restroom, mingle with your friends or family or, or complete strangers for that matter. The point is, do what you have to do and then come back here, get comfortable, settle in and enjoy the intermission on Guitar Business Radio. Welcome to the first ever intermission on GBR, where you can enjoy listening to something completely different as we take a break from the weekly grind of producing this show. And we have a very special intermission for you today that I think you'll find thoroughly interesting. But if you do fall asleep for any reason at all, and there could be many reasons, well, no worries. You can just rewind the tape and pick up where you fell asleep and you won't miss a thing. And by the way, just so you know, we'll be back next week with another regular episode of GBR. But first, I'd like to take a few minutes to talk about 2020. Now, I know you're probably thinking, okay, Here's where he breaks ranks with earlier promises and goes into a belligerent tirade on the upcoming presidential election. Now, I could do that, but why should I? Why would I? What good would it do anyway? It's not my thing, so it's not going to happen. It's not that I don't have opinions. I do. But when I say 2020, I'm talking about what's going on right here and right now with guitar business media. For instance, you've been hearing me talk about our new podcast, GBR Focus. And by the way, have you listened to the trailer for the show? If not, head over to GBRFocus.com when you're done here and take a quick listen. It's only four minutes and 49 seconds long, and it's better than a humorous cummerbund, which I think is a phrase from an old fire sign theater episode, which, by the way, was hilarious in the 70s, but not so much in the 90s. I wonder why. Hmm. Well, anyway, if you remember which episode that was, please email me, but catch the trailer. Even more important, episode one of GBR Focus is scheduled for release on March 7th, 2019, with episode two following in a few days after that. So by the time some of you are actually listening to this episode, well, that may have already happened. And, and if so, then I would just say head over to GBRFocus.com and listen to the latest episodes, because then there will truly be more than just a trailer. So you may remember that the new model year cars used to come out in the fall, for instance, the 1983 Cutlass Supreme, which, by the way, was the most popular car in 1983, according to InThe1980s.com, 
probably appeared, I don't know, September or October of 1982. I'm guessing on those months for illustrative purposes because in the 1980s.com does not specifically say what the launch date was, but I think I've made the interim point here. Now, it, it seems that over time, car companies became impatient and in need of new marketing strategies. And somebody came up with the idea of moving the launch dates of some of the new models up to like summertime for the next year and then ultimately to springtime for the next year. I'm not sure it's gone much further than that, but, you know, you can imagine like Tesla announcing the 2021 Model 6 to be available in the fall of 2019. Maybe I can see it, but we are not going quite that far. But the thing is, we already announced some 2019 stuff in the fall of 2018. So now that we're introducing more new stuff, we pretty much have to call it 2020. But that's okay, because 2020 has a nice ring to it, and we're going to go with it. And on March 1st, we introduced Guitar PR 2020 and something totally brand new. It's called the Guitar Business Store. Now, to start off, all of our existing Guitar PR structured services and a few new ones are now available exclusively at the Guitar Business Store. Over time, we'll be adding a variety of other services and products for the business of guitar, and, well, we look forward to sharing some of those with you in the future. In the meantime, if you're curious, take a ride on the Reading and get off at guitarbusiness.store. That's guitarbusiness.store, and take a look around. So this is what we do during the intermission. We run commercials and hope to pick up some additional business while we're at it, but it's all in the spirit of fun and the mutual benefits of the win-win or value-for-value value relationship. And truly, folks, that's what we're all about here on Guitar Business Radio, as well as other parts of our business. We're in it for the value we get from the value we share. So that does it for the intermission. We'll be back in just a few seconds for our usual back of the show wrap up and appropriate commentary. So stay right there. So what did you think about the intermission? We always want to hear from you and you can do that easily through the official episode page on our website at guitarbusinessradio.com or on Facebook and Twitter at Guitar Business. You can email us directly at contact at guitarbusinessradio.com. And of course, if none of that's working for you, just call us on the GBR hotline at 888-777-2404. You can do that right now if you like or later. Operators are busy playing canasta, so please call them before they get any older. So next week, we're scheduled to have Thomas Blug of Blue Guitar on the show, all the way from Germany. He's a great player, highly respected, and an innovator of some amazing products for his company. So barring something unforeseen, we expect a great interview from him on episode 57, which comes out on Wednesday, March 13th. And then, not to be outdone, the following day, March 14th, is, well, <laughs> my birthday. And I say that not just for the well wishes and gifts that I'm, I'm sure we'll pour in now that I've mentioned it, but really for all the others who share that birthday with me. It's not just about me, really. It's not. But here's the thing about birthdays, folks. Frankly, I think they're a bit overrated. It's just a number, and it's not an automatic indicator of who we are or what kind of condition we're in. I don't know why we make such a big deal out of them. It's not a big deal, but I do like the well wishes and gifts. Well, what can you say about gifts? Gifts are good, unless it's a bribe and you're a politician. But that will never be an issue for me, because I will never, ever be a politician. But that's just me. If politics is your passion, go for it. Just beware of the gifts. So I want to close out the show today by answering some mail, something we've not done in quite a while. So first, from Markshem Dorfbacker, Markshem Dorfbacker, in Parchmont, California. This person writes, I've listened to many of your podcasts, and you're right. There really isn't any idle chatter to speak of. Just wondering, other than the interview, is the rest of the show scripted? I can't tell. Well, Markshem, thanks for that. I can tell you. Of course it's scripted. I'm a writer, among other things. I have to write. You can't make this stuff up on the fly. But I do my very best to pretend that I'm not reading it. And truthfully, sometimes I'm not. But it's a great question, and I appreciate it. I hope that answers it for you. 
And this from J.D. Souther. It's actually J-A-Y. I know it could seem like J.D. Souther, but it's not. And this person asks, you've had a lot of great guests on the show, and I was curious, do you have a producer that books them or what? Well, J.D., that's a good question also. I wish I could say that it was my producer, but it's not. A producer would be a real luxury, though. In fact, if you know someone who does that kind of work reasonably, we'll send them our way. But for now, I'll just keep doing it. Well, that just about does it for this unique episode of Guitar Business Radio. As always, we appreciate your interest and support of this show every week for the last 56 weeks. It's absolutely a labor of love and fun and worth the effort many times over. I really don't have anything else to say at the moment other than what you might expect. Stay positive, stay focused on the destination, but remember to always keep all the options open on how you're going to get there. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you again on episode 57. And that's it for this episode of Guitar Business Radio. Thanks for being with us. You can stay tuned and stay in touch at guitarbusinessradio.com. 